Hi there, my name is Dolores Vanden Bogard and I have been in the direct sales industry since 2001. And one thing that is very important in this business is having bookings on your calendar. So you're gonna wanna watch this video through to the end. I know it's gonna be a little bit long, but I'm going to give you over 20 ideas that I have been personally using for the last 14 years to keep myself in business. Now, first of all, I wanna talk about keeping yourself in business because this business is recession proof because you're the only, uh, you're the only person who can, who can fire you. You are self-employed. So every day you need to choose if you are going to be in business or if you are going to quit. Because if you're tired of restarting your calendar over again, I just want to encourage you to take a look at some of the trainings that I have that will be able to keep you up and running and going with a full calendar schedule to help you earn trips every year with the direct sales industry. Some of these uh, trainings that I have are absolutely directly linked to my business, which is Norwex, uh, but these, pro these tips definitely are universal for all direct sales industries. So the first thing that I wanna tell you about doing a presentation is you need to be interactive. Be fun, keep it lively, keep it informative, and keep it fresh. People are gonna to wanna to see you regularly if you have some new content and new information to share with them every time they see you. So I like shaking up my presentation and doing different things with them every time I see them. First of all, you need to be hosting your own presentations. If you right now are looking at your calendar and it's totally empty, the first thing that I do when I coach consultants is I ask them, when is the next show happening at your house? You can't ask other people to do something for you that you're not willing to do for yourself. Regardless if you live in an apartment or if you are living in your parents' basement, no matter where you live, you can host presentations for yourself. You can triple dip with the Norwex business. You can be the consultant and earn 35% commission. You can be the host and earn all of the free product through the hosting program. And if you are a new consultant, you earn everything through the Fresh Start program. So if you're trying to get some bookings on your calendar, this training video is for you. And the first place you wanna start is by booking something at your own home. I highly recommend that you always have invitations in your purse or on your person that when you're traveling around and you bump into old high school friends or people that you knew through college, maybe coworkers, that you can always have an opportunity to invite them. Next week, Thursday night, I'm hosting a presentation at my home. Why don't you come and check out the product? I know you're absolutely gonna love how you can save time, radically reduce your exposure to chemicals, and save money by using Norwex's product. So what is it, how does that work for you? Would you like to come over on Thursday? Oh, I'm having one next month as well. If that doesn't work for you, I'll keep in touch and I'll let you know when I'm doing it next month. Once a month, host a presentation at your home. It doesn't matter if just one person comes over or if you have a living room full of people. The next thing that you wanna do is when you do have a presentation on your calendar is you want to create a lot of desire at your presentations. People need to feel like they want it all, that they need it all. And these little uh, clips are something that I encourage new consultants to tag onto or clip onto all of the product that you can get through the hosting program. It's a visual, it reminds you. And you can even say to your customers, everything that you see with a clip on it today can be yours for free through the hosting program. And put everything that is in the specials for the hosts for that month or for the next month, put a clip on them. It's a visual so people can see what they can earn for free. Longevity in this business is a choice. So it starts with choosing to stay in business. And I will tell you that there's one thing that will put you out of business before a lack of bookings, and it's negativity. If you are thinking to yourself, I can't get any bookings, you will find what you are looking for and you won't be able to find any bookings. But here are 20 suggestions for ways that you can find bookings if you are wanting them. So the first one is with the Norwex business, I like to reach out to people who have been customers of mine in the past. I have a little riddle that I use for our cloths and I like to tell my customers that 
when you buy a cloth from me, I want you to take a fabric marker and write the date on the tag. When the cloth is two years old, cut off the tag, the cloth is now a rag. You can still use it for wiping your patio furniture, barbecue, vehicle, outside windows, for those dirty jobs. But if you are wanting to make sure that you are using a cloth that is going to totally clean your surfaces, you want to have a cloth that's less than two years old for maintaining your kitchen. So that is one thing that I do is I will reach out to customers who have purchased from me in the past that I know that their cloths are more than two years old. If you are in an, in an area where there are community fairs, trade shows and expos, that is an excellent way to get out of your own personal frank list for your friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors and people that you know through the kids in your life. Connecting with church groups, community events, and finding tables in your area that you are able to display your product. And I know some consultants who have done very well even setting up tables at their friends' garage sales. You meet their neighbors. It's a great way to connect with people that you don't already know. And it's all about educating them about how our product can fill a need not asking for any extra money out of their family's budget because they're already cleaning their home with something else. So getting into those trade shows, it's not even about necessarily selling product. It's about getting the contacts, meeting the people and getting the bookings on your calendar. If you're doing trade shows exclusively to sell product, and I do have some consultants that do very well in that avenue. Uh, but for me personally, I have found that I always use trade shows and booths as a way to get more contacts into my uh, list of uh, customers in order for me to branch out into new groups of people. Another way that you can reach out to people in your community is through realtors and house cleaners. Who do you know that sells real estate or is currently cleaning homes? Both of these people give gifts, sorry, the realtors especially give gifts to people when they list with them or when they sell a home with them. What a better gift than to give them a Norwex mop. I also have home builders that give Norwex's mops to people when they build a home with them. House cleaners, they are excellent contacts. They love doing book parties because they can get all of their cleaning product for free by distributing some catalogs to their clients and collecting orders. It's an excellent way for them to reach out to their people as well and to get different customers into your database. Fundraisers, how many people show up at your door and are wanting to sell you chocolates and different things that aren't actually beneficial for your family's health? This is an excellent product that you can use as a fundraiser as well. And on our team website, you will find an excellent fundraiser program on there and we can ship anywhere in North America. So if the grandparents are down south and the aunts and uncles live up north, it doesn't matter. Everybody can buy from your child's fundraiser. They don't need to live locally to support your children. Be diversified in the styles of presentations that you do. I love doing bridal parties. Um, when, a, when a bride is getting married, I have found now being in the industry for this many years that these young ladies who were 12 and 13 sitting on their mom's couch, they're now getting married and they want to exclusively set up their home with Norwex's product. So as you are building a relationship with your customers, keeping in touch with them, find out what's going on with their kids as they're growing up and reach out to them to help them set up their home by using Norwex's product. As well as housewarmings, when people move into a new home, that's an excellent opportunity for them to host a presentation as well. Here is a mental shift when you're gonna get on the phone and ask people to book a presentation with you. Don't look for how many yeses you're gonna get. Don't try to acquire how many parties you want on your calendar. Absolutely, that is your final goal, but you wanna go for the no. Because ultimately, you're gonna get nine no's before you get a yes. So celebrate the no's. It's no problem when you call someone and they decline the offer to host a presentation I say no problem. If you would like to host one with me in the future, I would be delighted to come and meet your friends and family. No pressure is always the best. You just want to extend the invitation, offer the gift, and it's up to them if they would like to take it or to leave it. 
A good strategy is to try to do five phone calls every day. You can even wear bangles on your wrist. Men, you might want to put rocks on your desk or something. But women, you can wear five bracelets on your hand. And if you've got little kids, during the course of the day to get those five phone calls in, try to get all those bracelets onto your right hand instead. And just, it's a visual. It's a way to remember that every morning you put your five bracelets on your left hand and by the end of the day, you want to get them all on your right hand. If you make five phone calls a day, I guarantee you that you will keep your business up and going. So here are a couple more strategies that I have used um, at my presentations as well as when I'm making those phone calls and getting my nose, different offers that you can make to be able to extend to your customers to be able to get bookings on your calendar. The first one is a 50% off coupon. Now we earn 35% commission, so the difference isn't that much depending on what they choose and I do tell them it can't be a package. They may have anything out of the catalog that is not a package for 50% off with a qualified party. Now a qualified party for us is a minimum of $325 in sales with a, with a booking and three order forms. So that is an excellent way you're guaranteed to get a booking and you're going to give your host an item at 50% off. When you are doing your parties, make sure you plant lots of seeds throughout the entire presentation about hosting parties. And one thing you can do at the end of the presentation is stack on the coffee table all the things that the host can potentially get throughout uh, by hosting a presentation. Now, I will often be strategic if I need more shows on my calendar for the following month, I will take a look at what are the specials for next month. And while I'm doing my presentation, I will feature a lot of them. I will try to cover the majority of them to create desire for them so that at the end when I lay them out on the coffee table and I say these are all the items you can earn for free by hosting a presentation next month, they're just like, oh my goodness, those are all the things that are on my wish list. Meanwhile, those are all the things that I was talking about. So it creates desire and I have total control over that at my presentations. When you're doing the checkout at your shows, another thing that I like to have is a calendar. And on my calendar, I will have dates that I'm available that work for my family schedule. And I will write on there what they can have for free if they book a, a show on that date. So I'll have a blank calendar with just um, a 50% off on a Thursday, uh, the following week Wednesday, a free body pack, the following week, maybe a rainbow pack for EnviroCloths for free. Um, you can lay out your calendar however you would like. Obviously, you'll have the most expensive items closest to today's date, which would be within a week. People can book a party a week from today. Um, and then the further you get from today's date is uh, the, the less expensive the items would be. Now use items that you get for free. Norwex is so generous. We get so much product for free for being consultants. Use that free product to give for free away on your incentive calendar. And whether it's dryer balls, a bottle of mattress spray, or a $30 credit, uh, you choose. Whatever it is that you have in stock, give away items that you already have on your incentive calendar. Uh, one game that I like to play at my presentations is actually called the dice game. And I will take um, uh, 18 envelopes and I will write on them, oh sorry, uh, eight, yes, yeah, 17 envelopes and write on them two through 18. And then I'll have a set of dice. And I'll offer for my guests at the end of the evening, so who likes to gamble? Who wants to play a game with me tonight? All right, so in each of these envelopes, I have different prizes. And I will have everything in there from the most expensive would maybe be a free mop. Um, some of them will be a free Enviro cloth. Some of them will be free shipping and handling. Uh, some of them will be uh, a free body pack cloth or a free travel pack. Once again, things that I've received for free through Norwex. And in each of those envelopes, I fan them out. And I'm just like, in one of these envelopes is a free mop. So who wants to play with me tonight? You roll the dice and whatever number you roll, you get that envelope. Once everyone has had a chance to roll the dice and select their envelopes, two through 18, they pull the envelope at the end, everybody opens up their envelope and they are given the gift at their presentation with a qualified party. 
So that is something that I have done for my customers. They absolutely love it. They think that it's fun. Um, it's interactive and you find out who actually rolls the dice are the people who are considering hosting a party. So that is an excellent way for them to, if they book a presentation, um, they get to roll the dice and they get to select an envelope and that is their gift. Now, if you have a lot of stock and you're not new, you may be willing to give people that gift up front. But if you are new, I encourage you to hold on to your product until you do have a qualified party and then reward the host with the gift. All right, another awesome visual game that you can play at your presentations is actually with gift bags. This one is also very effective and have three smaller gift bags with really nice, uh, a really nice shiny gift bag with fancy paper coming out the top and tissue, and then have a fourth bag that is bigger. And I will have them out during the entire course of my presentation. And I can tell people are looking at them. They're like, what's she doing with those gift bags? And at the end, I will actually say to them that I have three dates available yet for the upcoming four weeks. And anyone who chooses a date within the next four weeks, the first three people to pick a date can grab those three smaller gift bags. And if all three of the gift bags are gone, the host is getting the big gift bag for offering that opportunity for them to be able to get free product themselves through the hosting program. So that's really interesting too. There's a bit of peer pressure going on. Sometimes if the two gift bags are gone, the host is like, come on, I need one more person to book a party. I need three parties to get that big gift bag. Come on, mom, you'll do one for me. And absolutely, you can easily get three shows, uh, three bookings out of one show. And then the host does get the bigger gift bag. Now, once again, what are you putting in these gift bags? Um, you want to be very generous to the host and put more things in the bigger gift bag, but in the smaller gift bags, even just an Enviro cloth, a basic pack, a body pack, uh, once again, items that you get for free, pass along for free. All right, uh, another game that I do is called Book to Look. Um, it's kind of similar to the dice game, um, but in here as well, I, I actually just wrote right on the envelopes, Book to Look and I have a whole stack of them. And once again, there's a free mop in here, free shipping, free Enviro cloths, free body pack, free rainbow pack. Um, and I tell them all the different things that I have free and I'll just walk around and fan them out and I'll let them pick one of the items totally for free. If they book, they can look. And I do tell them that it's with a qualified party and I will bring the free product to their show when they book when they when they're hosting their party i will bring the free product with them this one is also very effective and i've even had hosts say to me are you going to do that book to look because i have a couple friends who are thinking about it and maybe if they get something extra for free they'll be interested in playing your game so once again no pressure i just casually walk around with it and i'm just like if you want it i would love to give you some extra product as an incentive so that's my book to, to look game Another thing that you can do is you could reach out to your past hosts. I give special incentives to anybody who has hosted a presentation with me in the past if they rebook. Now there's lots of awesome benefits to this. First of all, the host knows how generous Norix's hosting program is and I have it in my system. I know how much she got for free as well the last time. And if you've been with Norwex for two, three, four years, reach back in your archives and reach out to those hosts that hosted a presentation in the past and they can get the ladies together and gentlemen together again to check out the product and see how they work. Uh, an incentive that I do for them is I will often offer them a, an item of their choice at 50% off. Once again, not a package, um, an individual item or I'll tell them I'll give them a bag of laundry detergent or anything valued at $30. So the oven and grill cleaner, mattress spray, uh, descaler, one of their favorite pod products, or maybe a new jar of cleaning paste. Who doesn't love that? All right, here is one that I absolutely love. And this one has been very uh, beneficial for me and it helped me get into a lots of different groups of customers and I call it my Lona Mop. Um, now, Norwex does free mops in January, July, and August for the last 15 years. This is what they've done. So if you put in an order yourself or when you sign up to become a consultant, you get a free mop. Sometimes you already have a mop at home. 
um, I bring an extra mop to my Norwex presentations and I will offer that the first person to book a party can loan the mop. They get to take it home with them that night. Now their booking has to be within 30 days and when I get to her home I've told her how to launder the mop heads and then I can pass it right along onto another loan a mop host. This is awesome because when they try this mop they do not want to live without it. And I've actually had hosts say to me, can I keep it until mine comes in? Like I love this mop. So loan a mop is an excellent way to get the product into their hand. And it's also an excellent way for there to be an incentive for the host to find a booking for you prior to the party even starting. Cause she'll tell her sister, she'll tell her friend, if you're the first person to book a party, you can borrow this mop for 30 days. So it's a fun way to interact with your customers, give them a chance to try the product in their home and they will absolutely love it and not want to live without it. So that's my loan a mop. Um, another great incentive is paying it forward with, with, with generosity. Um, now there's no booking required, uh, or sorry, there's no uh, qualified party required for this. But what I'll do is if I want to help my host maximize her hosting opportunity, she needs a booking. In order for, for her to qualify for those packages of free product at the top, 325, 500, 750, and 1,000, she needs a booking. So I will tell my host, first of all, I always encourage my host to get a booking ahead of time. But if she doesn't have a, a booking ahead of time, when I arrive at her party, this is what I often do. I will show up at her home and I'll say, when you, when you host a party, Norwex is going to give you a free window cloth for every booking that you get tonight. But you need to have at least one booking in order to qualify for the hosting specials. And I'll show her. A $500 party with one booking will get you all of this free product, but you need a booking. So I am going to help you. This is what I'm suggesting that we do tonight. I brought a window cloth from my home and I would like to give this to you right now as a gift. So Sandra, this is my request to you. Tonight, when I do your presentation, may I offer to your friends and family that anyone who books a party tonight, that when your order comes in, that they will receive a free pink window cloth just for booking a party tonight with you. That will guarantee that you will get a party on your calendar, that you will get a party so that you get all the free benefits through the hosting program because we need a booking for you tonight. But I am willing to give you this pink window cloth right now. I'm paying it forward. I want to give this to you as a gift as long as you are willing to allow me to offer to your friends and family that the free pink window cloths that come in with your order, that it will be given to the ladies and gentlemen that book a presentation from tonight's party. They always say yes. They love the idea. So I give her the window cloth right now before the guests even arrive, but I make reference to it during the presentation and I say, so generous of our hosts this evening. Norwex gives a free window cloth to our host for every booking that she gets. But tonight, she's going to give it to you. So anyone tonight who decides to book a party, you're going to get a free $20 window cloth just for booking a party tonight. But it does need to be within the next 45 days. So it's going to be pink and it will come in with the order when the product arrives tonight. Even if you can't afford to buy anything tonight, no problem. Book a party. I'll help you get all of your product for free through the hosting program. And tonight, when the order gets submitted, you will receive a free pink window cloth in that order. You don't even have to pay for shipping. Totally for free. This is an excellent way to pay it forward. As a consultant, it does cost you the initial free pink window cloth to get the generosity started. You give it to your host in advance. But then all of those customers will remember that you did that. And when you go to do their presentations, they will want you to pay the same gift forward to their friends at their presentation. And it's a way of giving a free window cloth to people who book at the party and it doesn't cost the consultant anything and it doesn't cost the host anything. So that is another excellent idea to do at your presentations. I have two more amazing ideas that I have used 
uh, to get bookings at my presentations. And this one was actually suggested to me by a consultant on my team. And Michelle lives down in Carolina and she shared this idea with me and it was working well for her. And I absolutely love it. And it's called Deal or No Deal. Now women like blingy things. So I have this pack that I will carry with me to my presentations and they're all little actually pencil cases from the dollar store that I load with product. And inside each of these cases, I have it stacked 60, 40. And I tell my customers that ahead of time. I'm like, all right, who likes to gamble? Who likes to take their chances? Tonight, we're gonna play a game. Has anybody watched the TV show, Deal or No Deal? People know what that show is. I don't know if it's on TV anymore, but they remember what it was. And it was with all the cases and you would open up the case and you would see what was inside. So same idea. I have all of these cases loaded with awesome product. Now this product, it's all stuff that I've talked about tonight and it's product that you want in your home. You want to go home with it tonight for free. You can by playing my game. So in these cases, it's 60-40. 60% of them say uh, have a little card in them and the other 40% say totally for free. Free, free, free. You open up your case, if your little paper says free, you take whatever is inside my special little case home totally for free. Now that would be pretty special, wouldn't it? But the other 60% of the cases have something even better. Those cases say free and me. You win the biggest prize of the evening. You get to take me home. We'll do all of this fun all over again with your friends and your family and you are the lucky winner. You get to host a party and you can have your friends and family over and have the opportunity to earn hundreds of dollars for free through the amazing generous hosting program from Norwex. So who wants to play? So I walk around with my bags and I stand in front of each lady holding them in my arm like a bundle and I say deal or no deal. Would you like to play? And they'll pick through the bags and they'll take one and I'll go to the next lady and she'll take one and the next lady she'll be like, you know, I just had a party with you last month. I'm good. She'll pass. I'll go to the next lady. It is remarkable how many people will grab a case because they want to play. They want to see what's in the bag. All right, then I say, okay, does anybody want to trade? Is everybody happy with their case? All right, when I say go, you go ahead and you open your cases, but I need you to do one thing for me first. I need you to pull out your order form. I need you to write on the top of the order form right beside your name, played game. I just need to know that you played the game. I just need to know that you participated. It doesn't matter if it says free or free in me, I just need to know that you played. So they get out their order form and they write played game. And I'll tell you why that's important to me in a minute. All right, so then I say, on your mark, get set, go. And they all open up their cases and they look inside and they see what their free gift is. And in this one, it is a free veggie cloth. And let's see what it says. Oh, lucky winner, free and me. So I have a booking. It's 60-40. 60% of the cases say free and me, 40% of the cases just say free. Now, I will have people say, that's okay. If you just got a free ticket and you didn't win me, when you come and place an order with me tonight or when you submit your order form, no problem. I would be delighted to come to your home as well. If you didn't win me in your case, that doesn't mean you don't have to have me. So what that does is it shows me who would be willing to host a party. Who would be willing? Sometimes only one person will step forward or maybe two on a great night three. People will come forward and say that they would like to host a presentation. But this way, I have had upwards of eight bookings at presentations. It's amazing. People love it. And people will come to me and they'll be like, my, my little card just says free, but I do want to book a party. I'm like, I would love to do one for you. It's very interactive, it's fun, and your customers will love this. This is a great one. All right, my last suggestion for getting bookings is called my buying club. How many of you have done presentations or maybe before you were a consultant, you attended a presentation and you wanted everything? 
My buying club is a way that I offer to my customers that they can all participate in receiving free product by buying from each other for the designated amount of months as there are people in the club. Let me explain. For an example, if I have five people that want to create a buying club, the five people in the club will each buy from each other for the upcoming five months so that all five of them can be on a bit of a payment plan to be able to acquire the product that they would like in their home for cleaning their home exclusively with Norwex product. Now I do this two ways. Some groups of people will literally sit down at the kitchen table with their order form and fill out five order forms on the spot and just say, this is what I want to buy for the next five months. They know what they want. And if they each want to receive the $500 um, hosting package for free, they each need to spend $100 a month for the next five months. And then the host for that month will get the free $500 package. And they're the booking for the next person. They all book off of each other. Now, the other thing that they can do is they're guaranteed that $500 in sales. But what they can also do is host a presentation with me. They know other people. Other people besides those five ladies, they can invite a whole other group of coworkers, neighbors, relatives, friends to their party. And I can have the guaranteed $500 order for her, but then she can have all of her other friends and family over as well. And then they will place orders. It's a bit of a payment plan to allow people to stock their home over the upcoming months. And if they want to do it for less, then you would just need more people in the club. For an example, if they have 10 people in the club and they all want the $500 hosting package, they each need to spend $50 for the upcoming 10 months so that each person qualifies for it. I do have a couple rules with this. Rule number one, they all need to know each other. I don't create buying clubs because then the accountability is on me that all 10 people will for sure buy for the next 10 months. I need them to know each other so that they hold each other accountable. I have been doing these buying clubs for the last eight years in the greater Edmonton area and they work amazing. People love it that they don't have to host a party in their home. It can be more like a book party or they have the flexibility if they do decide that they would like to host. Now, how do you decide who gets which month? We take a look at the upcoming five or 10 months, depending, or eight months, seven months, depending on how many months the program is gonna run for. And I just on a slip a piece of paper, all right, September, October, November, December, we tear it up, we put it in a, in a bowl and people just pull. We make a chart, we write down, Sandra is September, Jennifer is October, Meredith is November, and we make a list of who is gonna be which month. I then create an email for those uh, five or 10 ladies in the group so they know who to send their order to if they haven't given it to me in advance. Now, sometimes, as I said, they'll sit down at the kitchen table, they'll right away fill out their order for the upcoming five months. They know what they want. They just were at a presentation. Uh, they'll take their catalog home, and if they wanna add to it, they absolutely can, and I can direct ship. These ladies don't need to be in touch with each other every month. Now that we have the direct ship option, I can ship it directly to people's homes, and it's quick and easy. They know that their box of product over the next five months through their payment plan uh, will arrive at their door. And one month, they're the lucky lady to get all the free product through the hosting program. All right, so those are some of my booking strategies, over 20 of them, which have kept me in business and doing very well in the direct sales industry for the last 14 years. I absolutely love this business. I love doing parties. I am passionate about connecting with my customers. I believe I have the best customers. I love my hosts and I love working with them and I'm sure you feel the same about yours. So go out and make an impact in your community. Be generous, give away some free product and bless all the homes that you reach by making them into safe havens. Have an awesome day.